Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I thought today, since the weather was good, I would record my deadlifting so that I can explain to people a little bit about how to use Bulgarian-style training to improve work capacity to deadlift heavy every day without really overtraining or being fatigued. Now, this is my lift from Sunday. This was my training max. This is on a 3-inch deficit deadlift without a belt. I hit 250 here. This was hard for me, so we're establishing this as my training max. So we'll call this 100% training max. And then what you would do after this, we would go with 90%. Now for the metrically challenged, this is just over 550 pounds. So we're going to work with 225, which is around 500 pounds. Again, off of a three inch deficit deadlift. And I'm going to do six singles for you guys today with about two minutes between them. Now you'll notice as I approach the bar, I come up very calmly. I recorded the walk-up so that you guys can see there's no psyching up, there's no ammonia salts, no belts, no wraps. You just come up, set up, and pull clean without getting psyched up. I don't have any real aggressive music playing. I'm just listening to a little bit of uh, really light hip-hop. So not my normal hard metal. And just come up and just calmly pull it. And these are all at 90% of my training max. And what you're going to find with this type of training is that you can do this every day. And because it's not psyched up, you're not having a lot of adrenaline from it, you're not getting a lot of psychological arousal, it doesn't really tax your nervous system the way true maxes do. But if you come in and let's say you establish one training max every week with some ramp up sets, and you do this for the next five days, and you do five to six singles with 90% of your max, you will effectively accumulate 25 to 30 reps at 90% all calm lifts that, that train your motor patterns, train technique, but that is an awful lot of tension and motor unit learning on a basic lift like the deadlift that would normally bury people, but the way you spread it out with the sleep between, you don't really get fatigued from it. And I always squat before I do this. I never deadlift without squatting first. So I actually hit almost a training max a day on deadlift. I ramped up to like a 210 pause squat for a two second pause at the bottom before I did these. And if you can build the work capacity on something like this because you are an athlete or you have the extra time, this only took me about 14-15 minutes to do these sets including the warm-ups because I do two warm-up singles since I squatted first. Like I do a 140 and then a 180 then I jump straight to the 225. That this really does not tax you. It's just part of your normal morning routine. It's just like someone who takes a jog every morning. You come in and do your deadlift singles every morning and it just builds your work capacity. This isn't hardcore training. People would think, oh, squatting and deadlifting every day. Oh, that's super hardcore. It really isn't that hardcore. You just adapt to the workload and the work capacity. And over time, you just build massive amounts of workload and technique doing this. And this is my current strategy right now for deadlift specialization because my deadlift, I really need to get my deadlift up to 300 kilos for the 90 kilo class to really be competitive. And this is a strategy I'm currently using while cutting to do it. So I hope it's been informative and I will talk to you guys next time.